The second album was really taking the idea of the first album that we wanted to portray music that has not been sung as much, uh, music that shows off the emotional quality of the voice rather than the high notes. I always want to show how much it means to me, the idea of singing. I want someone to listen to the album with their eyes closed and they can feel what I feel. In the first album, it was the first time in my head that I thought, now I'm going to put it down and it'll be forever, <laughs> in a sense. Uh, the second album came about, I know what to expect now, I know what to do and I know what to convey. And it's, I'm in more invested now in the story. But also, vocally, you've gotten a few more years more experienced, a few more years of singing more repertoire. Kejeli da Manina is one of my most favorite arias. Actually, La Boheme was the first opera I had ever seen, 2007, in Auckland. I will never forget that moment. At that point, I knew nothing of opera. I didn't even know it was in Italian. There's something about Kejeli da it's more of an introduction piece, you know, he's explaining. I want you to know who I am. I'm a writer, I'm an artist, I live in a, in a castle in the sky, in my dreams. And some way, a lot of artists can relate to that, not just the tenors, they can say, that's exactly me. I am Rodolfo in some way. I felt like I've lived that life of being a poor artist. <laughs> if there's any role I could relate to, it's probably Rodolfo and with Kejeli, though. The Macbeth aria, it goes, in fact, the first time I sang this aria was in a competition and I won with this, with this aria, which is, why I, which is why I've chosen to continue singing it. His family has been killed by Macbeth in fear that he would cause an uprising. And Macduff sings in the beginning very solemnly saying, I wish I was here to protect you. I should have been here. He starts off like that and then his emotion changes into vengeance and says, when I find him, I will kill him. Like, yeah. And of course he rises to become the king uh, towards the end. But it's such an emotional journey. And again, I love the emotional content of that aria, which is, and it's such a good piece to sing. Singing with Amina is probably one of the biggest highlights for me. Uh, the Cherry duet goes right back to one of the first duets we sang together back in, in New Zealand. Fritz um, and Suzel, they slowly fall in love and there's something nice, innocent about that and singing with Amina is just the cherry. <laughs> singing with Amina is the cherry on the cake.